All right, I watched the first episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, and I wrote down some of my thoughts. So as you all know, on the YouTube channel of The Bold and the Beautiful, they're releasing every episode from the first episode on the word from the first season. So, we learned that Ridge is the vice president of Forrester Creations. Um, Ridge is played by Ron Moss, who I thought did very well in this episode. Thorn Forrester is played by Clayton Norcross. Margot is played by Lauren Coslow from The Bold and the Beautiful. Eric Forrester is played by John LeCook, who's still there to this day. And Caroline's being played by Joanna Johnson. And that's our Forrester storyline core, so I'm going to go over some of the notes I had. So we learned that Ridge is, again, the VP of Forrester. Ridge and Thorne are arguing over the sexual appeal of the new line that Eric has called Forrester, Forrester Originals, I think he was working on. It's the, the big line. And uh, we, lear we learn that Thorne wants, wants to uh, agree with his father and stick with the classic feel of the line, whereas Ridge wants to take it in a more sexual, r romanticized kind of look of the line. Ridge wonders if Margo and Eric have ever made it together, which is, I've never heard anyone say that ever, made it together. And um, wonders, wonders, just wonders about their relationship behind the scenes. Caroline and Ridge, are. we learn that they're a couple, and they plan a date night together. But we le also learn that Ridge has kind of a playboy past, and Caroline, when Caroline says, I love you, he does not say it back. That gave me the idea, even before they said anything about him, that he had kind of a playboy pass and kind of dates all a bunch of women. All right. We learn, we learn that he gets it from his father as Eric is schmoozing all the models. But Eric kind of has a um, more classier way of doing it than Ridge does. All right. So Thorne and Eric are speaking, and we, we get the idea that Thorne is the good brother to, to Ridge's kind of more party bad boy type of brother. But we also get the feel that Eric doesn't look for Thorne's um, approval. He, he looks for uh, Ridge's because Ridge tends to be the outlier, the person who says, no, this is wrong. And Thorne lies to uh, Eric by saying that Ridge really likes the new line. And um, from there, we get a call from our, another character, Bill Spencer is played by uh, John Jim Storm I think his name was he is um, Caroline's father and he asks Ridge if he could come over and meet with him to discuss his relationship with Caroline but because Ridge is that type of person he says no I'm too busy so Bill agrees to come down to his territory from there we head over to the Logan storyline with Katie can't remember the actress's name, but I'll get it for the second episode. And uh, her storyline is her self-esteem. She has zits and looks in the mirror. And um, she has kind of a daydream about this man we don't know about yet, or maybe it's just a random guy in the magazine. And um, we look, we look, we that the person in the mag in the dream accepts her acne for who and accepts her for who she's supposed to be. And who she is. Her dr her dream is interrupted by Brooke, who runs in, clothes close torn apart, and out of breath. And from there, we get the theme song. Katie tries to comfort an unwilling Brooke, but the but she, she does she Brooke doesn't want to hear it because she finds her she finds what she went through to be um, too traumatizing for her younger sister. And um, the police arrive, and we learn that. Uh, Stephen Shortridge, who plays Dave, is her boyfriend, but also a police officer. She sends Katie upstairs. Brooke wonders how Dave found out about her um, rape. And uh, from there, we go back to the Forrester storyline, where Ridge looks into the, in disgust with Eric dealing with the paparazzi. Clearly taking his distaste into the new line very, very hardly especially since it seems to be a success. This is Eric's 20th year at the company. 
and Ridge reveals his disinterest to Eric, which shocks Eric, as Eric was told by Thorn that Ridge was very much into this new line. And um, we ha we have an argument that is very interesting and very somewhat forward thinking, somewhat very uh, old school, where Ridge. Ridge says that um, w men want to be turned on by women's fashion. Eric has the point of view of, look, women are the ones buying the fashion, so that we have to make sure they feel good in this fashion. And I much think that, I much more than Ridge, I think Eric has a more um, 21st century view on women. And Ridge is very much an, the older man sort of uh, opinion which is very um, upside down. You would think Eric would be the one to have that opinion. All right, so we head over to Bill and Ridge's meeting after Eric and uh, Ridge's meeting. So Bill uh, tells Ridge he doesn't want Ridge and Caroline to be together anymore. R he, Ridge is, um, Bill calls out Ridge's exclusiveness with multiple different women. But Ridge is uh, honest and says, uh, look, I am having sleeping with multiple different women, but Caroline knows it. And uh, that hurts uh, That hurts probably Bill to hear. But Bill says to um, him that, and reads him the riot act and says, hey, look, you're the type of person who loves them and leaves them, and you take in lots of women and you break their hearts. And I think Bill's ultimate goal is to protect his daughter from heartbreak. We, uh, we, we get a line that interested me that says, Caroline is Bill's only, daughter, only child and daughter. When I know for firsthand that uh, Karen comes, comes in later, uh, the, the, I think it's the sister. Or, I don't think they were twins, but Karen, Karen is played by Joanna Johnson later on in the 90s. And then Bill Spencer Jr. is uh, 90, uh, 2009. Well, I think I think in further episodes they're gonna probably they might have to explain the who's the mother or if she died or not, because we only get the idea that Bill Spencer Sr. is in the um, picture. All right, so as as I as we we continue to get the protective father trope with. Uh, with um, sorry, with um. What was I talking about again? Oh, with Bill. Sorry, with Bill. Speaking on Caroline's behalf, without Caroline knowing that he's speaking, he's speaking with Ridge. So we head back over to the the Logan storyline with Dave asking Brooke if there was any witnesses in one of her classes for the rape. Dave, <coughs> excuse me. Dave needs to ask what ha happens, and he asks Brooke to describe exactly what happened that day. And she explains that she was on a high after getting an A in physics. She crossed the street where a, bl a blue van appeared. She wasn't paying much attention where a guy called her over, and she went over. She saw a, g she saw a guy put she saw a guy suddenly put a hand over her mouth, dragged her legs, and another two guys grabbed her arms. She kicked them in the balls and she got away. <coughs> Dave feels that these two guys were involved in multiple rapes from what he's heard. And that's where we get with that storyline. So it'll be interesting to see what else the what else is to come of this rape storyline. All right, so and we head over to Ridge and Caroline's date night and it goes sour as the conversation becomes about um Ridge almost feels like says something about Bill's uh, conversation, but doesn't. But he does everything except for mention Bill's name, which is weird. Ridge then almost, almost, almost gets Caroline to sleep with him, but Caroline is the um, virgin of the soap, so she she's the one that Ridge has to chase after because she she wants to wait till marriage. And um, Ridge is disappointed about not Caroline not sleeping with him, 
So he proposes marriage, which proves to me that they're not meant to be together. Fridge has to marry her to sleep with her. Sorry, I said that wrong. If Fridge has to, <coughs> if Fridge, Fridge, only way of being with her is to sleep with her. So he proposes. It doesn't make much sense. You know this couple's not going to last if that's what the marriage is based on. So thank you for listening to episode one. I will be back shortly with episode two, where we will learn more probably about the Logan storyline with the rape and whether or not those two guys get arrested. We'll figure out what's to come of Katie and her zit storyline and Bill and Bill and his relationship with his daughter and Ridge. Um, what, what's to come with Thorne and being the... Uh, good brother, and whether or not Ridge and Caroline make it. Thanks for listening.